Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm going to give you an in-depth bow guide because although all of you know I love my bows, I've never really gone into depth with the crafted and the recurve and the compound bows damage and arrows. I think I might have done a, like, a, you know, just, just a... Uh, basic guide on it but we do, today we're going to go into depth about damage okay i'm not going to test every single arrow in the game i am going to focus on the best arrows that you can use because of the traders okay so the guy the bow guide for today is a pvp based guide we know we know that bows are very powerful against puppets but we want to find out what is the best bow and poundage and stuff like that, or what's the best arrows um, against the player, and what you want to think about when you face a player with a bow, okay? Facing a player with a bow when he's got an AR is never a good feeling, so you probably want to, you know, take someone on when they don't see you or, you know, from a distance. Um, but yeah, we want to see what kind of damage reduction there is, since we know there's damage reduction on bullets, Okay, we want to see what kind of damage reduction there is on like a carbon um, broadhead arrow. And we're going to start the guide as a continuation from our previous sniper rifle guide, where we saw that the stab proof vest um, is quite good. And of course, the bulletproof vest is good. And of course, we found out that the tactical vest is the best. Okay, but we never spoke about the crafted stab proof vest and the crafted bulletproof vest so today with me i've got bit wonky that's going to help me with a test and he is at the moment wearing an a normal stab proof vest so i'm going to shoot him once with the awm which we know is the best sniper rifle when we don't include the m82 and that at least won't kill him you know we want to actually see how much how much protection the stab proof vest does Hopefully it doesn't kill him. And then we're going to let him wear the improvised stab proof vest. And then I'm going to do the same with the bulletproof vest. I'm going to wear the improvised bulletproof vest and he's going to shoot me. And then I'm going to wear the normal uh, bulletproof vest. And then just let us just see, you know, is what kind of difference is there. So first of all is a test with the AWM at 100 meters. Just make sure. Am I at 100 meters? Yes. At 100 meters, stab proof vest. What what can we do? Uh, took me down to a five percent. Okay, Phoenix dear, Phoenix dear, Phoenix dear. Quick, quick, quick. And then as soon as you Phoenix steered, lie on your back. Yep. Just in time. Okay, lie on your back. Okay, guys, as you can Boy. see, he's got the stab-proof vest on. Okay, Kelly did a lot of damage to the stab-proof vest. How much health has the stab-proof vest got left? Uh, it is... Oof, 42% durability, so it took a big chunk out. Yeah, more than half of the stab-proof vest durability, guys, with one shot. So... Two things that we're going to check now is when he gets back to 100 health, we're going to see, does he still survive the shot, point one, okay? And then secondly, we're going to see how much um, durability has the improvised one have left, okay? So first thing is, is he going to survive, okay? Does the improvised one give you just as much protection as the original one? And how much damage does the improvised one? improvised one take okay so i'm going to quickly run back to the 100 meter mark and then he's going to tell me when he's at 100 health and then he's going to uh, then he's going to wear the improvised stair proof all right i am back to 100 percent, and the improvised stab proof vest is equipped okay let's see Same thing, down to five percent. Okay, Phoenix. Injecting. Yep, and the oh, improvised stab proof vest is seventy-seven percent durability, so it didn't take as much damage. Did, did I shoot you perfectly in the chest? Uh, actually, no. Uh, no, you got me in the groin. 
Got you in the Missed groin. The chest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Which I think that vest probably doesn't cover. So we may have to try it again. Let me lay down. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's lay down. Let's do it again. Yeah. But it was 5% again. If, if, if it didn't protect you, you would have been dead. Right. That's true. That's true. Mm. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go again. I just put on the M82 scope, okay, so that I can be a little bit more accurate with my shots. I'm going to crouch down for a little bit more stability. I'm going to look at him, going to scroll in, and then hold my control key so that I'm much more accurate with my shot, okay? So I'm going to hold control to hold my, hold my breath, and then shoot him in the chest. Yep, 5% again. Phoenix there. Uh, yeah, quickly hit that. And... Uh, the vest went down to 23%, so that took away 51. 51. Durability off the chest, yeah, off the vest. Okay, so not a big difference on the durability, guys. But so, you know, for what we've tested now, uh, improvised, okay, duct tape. Don't know. <laughs> Looks funny. Just a lot of duct tape. Uh, improvised stab proof vest still gives you the same protection as a uh, normal stab proof. Okay. So now I'm going to give him the AW, the AWM with the right scope. And then he's first going to shoot me with the uh, improvised bulletproof and then the normal bulletproof. Okay. So let's just test that quickly. Okay. Buddy, are you ready? I uh, am. Um, let me rifle out. Okay. I am all set. Okay, guys. AWM at 100 meters with an improvised bulletproof. Let's see. All right. Taking shot. Okay, that was in the low abdomen, and I had 8% health left. Yo! Hmm, okay, so that was, again, a little bit below chest, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe just okay. aim a little bit higher. Yeah, okay. Because if I got protection from the vest there... There's not a lot of difference. There, the stab proof is actually very, very yeah. strong. I mean, from five percent mm -hmm. to eight percent is that's yeah. major. Oh, and you did you did hit the improvised bulletproof armor because it's at sixty-seven percent durability. So you, oh, okay. You took away um, thirty-three percent. Thirty-three percent. Okay, so I think the hit I think the hit counts. Now I'm gonna wear the normal bulletproof vest. All right. Doesn't mean we're gonna get the same results, guys. All we know is that a improvised stab proof is the same as a normal stab proof. Okay. But if I look at the difference, I think I you know according to our test, the bulletproof is much better. I mean, a stab proof is still good, but we do know that a bulletproof is better. So. If I had to guess, I would say that uh, there is going to be a difference between the normal bulletproof and the improvised bulletproof. Although that wouldn't make sense to me because the improvised bulletproof has lit literally got like metal plating on it. But in any case, but when right. you're ready, I'm ready, buddy. All right. I'm aiming a little bit higher this time. So. Okay. All right. Here goes. Three, two, one. Firing. Oh, darn it. Sorry. Wavered. Okay, that's plumb in the chest, guys. Okay, plumb in the chest. And I've got 33% health left. Okay, so that's a major difference from 8% health left. So let's do one more test. I'm going to inject myself. And then we're going to do one more chest with, uh, test with the... Uh, with improvised bulletproof, and but Bonk is just going to make sure he hits me in the upper chest. Maybe what it looks like to me is where you hit the person on the, you know, on the vest also has some kind of, um, you know, makes a little bit of a difference because it didn't make a difference to him with the health that he had left, but it did make a difference to his improvised um, or to his stab-proof vests where I hit him, okay? 
So when it was at the like in the groin, it didn't take a lot of damage, but when it was more center of the vest, the vest took more damage. But for now, I'm right with what I guessed. Which doesn't make sense, guys, because you can see this improvised um, vest has got a lot of plating on it. Okay, so it doesn't really make sense that the stab proof, you know, doesn't matter if it's normal or improvised, but it does with the bulletproof. But again, we're going to test it again. Let him shoot me, you know, in the exact same upper chest area. And we know um, the previous test, we only had 8% health left or like 9% health left. And with the with the full you know with the full one we had thirty three percent health left and it only took twenty percent damage, so we can already see the bulletproof is a lot tougher than the stab proof. You can take a lot more shots with the bulletproof than you can with the stab proof before the armor breaks. Okay, so I'm going to put on the improvised again. I must say the improvised bulletproof really looks cool. I like the look of it. You can really mix it up to get a Mad Max look. And now he's going to shoot me again in the upper chest. All right, all set. Yep. Here it goes. Okay, I think that was the head because my head's gone. Oops. We'll be, all right. We'll, we, be, uh... we'll be back now, guys. All right. Yep, good. I'm ready now. Okay, three, two, one, go. Okay, guys, centering the chest, 9% health left, okay? So, that tells us that the bulletproof vest is a lot stronger than the improvised bulletproof armor, okay? Very, very interesting, guys, very, very interesting. Will a bulletproof, will an improvised bulletproof vest still protect you? Yes, but not nearly as well as an original bulletproof vest will, okay? And since we know that, I'm going to do one more test, guys, just for interest's sake. I'm going to spawn in a, a puppet um, with armor. Okay, I'm just trying to think. Now, I know where to, I know what puppet's going to give me a stab proof. I know what puppet's going to give me a tactical. But I don't know what puppet's going to give me a bulletproof. Is there a puppet that gives you a bulletproof bit wonky? I think I've seen them, yes. Okay, guys, let's just test the tactical, okay? Because we want to see, is the armor that you get from a puppet just as strong as a brand new armor, okay? So we're going to test two tacticals now. So I'm going to let him okay. shoot me once with a with a tactical vest from a puppet and then i'm gonna let him shoot me again with a brand new tactical vest okay and then i think we're done with you know what's the differences between all the kinds of armors okay we were very very lucky guys we got we got the armor from the first puppet here okay so Let's just move this armor over here. And, okay, the armor is still going to protect you. doesn't matter how low the durability is. It's going to protect you from the first shot, okay? So I'm going to let him shoot me now in the chest. I've got brand new tactical armor on, okay? There's the broken tactical armor. So you're going to shoot me once in the chest. Okay, but won't you when you're ready, buddy? In, in the chest. All right. All right, here it goes. Okay, guys. 54 damage directly in the directly in the chest. Okay, 54, 54 damage. Let me inject myself. So again, you know, we only had 33 health left with the bulletproof, but we had 46 health left with the tactical. Okay, big, big, big difference. Now can that little broken piece of poop that you get from a puppet help you to survive a shot? Okay, guys. So just another reminder. You can see the tactical vest only, only got 12% damage from that hit. Okay? So the tactical vest is superior in every single shape and form. 
It covers a lot more of your body, even your groin area. Covers a lot more of your neck. I have personally tested it, guys. Hitting a guy in the, in the throat, which will usually one-shot kill him, is much easier to do if he's got a bullet on, bulletproof vest on because there's a lot of neck area left with a bulletproof vest, as you guys can see here. But with a tactical vest, there's very little space to hit him in the throat, okay? Plus, it protects you more. Plus, it covers more area. Plus, it's tougher, okay? It just beats all armors on every level. So now, let me wear, without repairing it, let me wear a 2% tactical vest that I got from a puppet and see if that can save me from an AWM shot whenever you're ready, buddy. All right. In the look. chest. Uh! Okay, so that was a little bit more damage, guys. We got 59 damage, but we got the same protection. Okay, vest is broken. We got the same kind of protection. Okay. So if you repair this vest to 50% because you got it from a puppet and it only takes 12% damage with every shot from a sniper rifle, then you'll still be able to take four shots, okay, before it's broken. And it will protect you for all four of those shots. So never underestimate the armor that you get from puppets. So I hope that, got, that helped you, okay? And now let's get into the bow guide. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to waste your time with going through every aspect of the bow, okay? It's a PvP test, so we're going to make it nice and short. First test, what affects your um, setting of a compound bow more? Strength or your archery skill? Now, you all can argue that he can't start with eight strength, so we can't really see who the winner is. I'm talking about a starting build. Is it better for you to start with five strength when you create your character or better to start with advanced archery if you want to be able to set the compound bow to its highest pound as possible? So I have got a character with advanced archery that I created when we, when we joined the test server where a bit wonky has got no archery skill but five strength. So let's see who wins. He's gonna he's going to set his poundage of or adjust his draw weight first and tell me how much higher he can go from 60 pounds. Okay, but wonky. Alright. Adjust draw weight. So he's gonna adjust his draw weight, guys, with five strength. Goes to 80. 80. Okay, so he got 20 pounds more, okay? I have got only three strength, but I started with advanced archery. So let's see. Eighty. Okay, guys. So whether you start with five strength or advanced archery, it doesn't matter. And what that tells you as well is that your archery skill is just as important as your strength. So what does that mean? It's it, all the skill points that you gain with archery is just as important as the strength you gain. It's just archery. You can get to the same level with archery faster than you can get with strength because to start with a character with three strength and to level up to five strength is a heck of a lot more effort or time than it is to start with no archery skill and just kill as many puppets as you can to get to advanced archery, okay? So I'm glad we sorted that out. For the rest of our lives, we will know that strength is just as important as your archery skill, okay? So we finalized that. So what, I, what we're going to do now is I'm going to take a 20-pound bow, okay? Because both of us have got... Um, yeah, both of us have got Phoenix Deers. I'm going to take a 20-pound bow. And I'm going to load it. I'm just going to press V here to not have that one. And I'm going to knock the wooden arrow. So you've got no no armor on, right, Bitwoggy? Correct. Okay. So, guys, I want to do this test at the same distance. So, Bitwoggy, stand for me on this flower over here. Like this flower over here. Okay. And I'm going to stand at the edge of this wall. Okay. Just so okay. that our test is the same. So I'm going to hit him in the chest with a wooden arrow and the same bow. 
first we're going to test the, the arrow, and then we're going to test the bow. Okay, so a 20 pound bow with a wooden arrow. Uh, 79 health, so it took me down 21%. 21%. And that was in the groin. Yep. Okay, heal, heal quickly. So you got them, or just inject yourself. You don't have to lie down. Just inject yourself. Right. So yep. that was with a wooden arrow and a 20 pound bow. Now he's going to take his 35 pound bow, which you can, you know, craft in the game in the crafting menu. And he's going to hit me with a 35 pound bow, wooden arrow in the chest as well. Okay. So just take out your. I don't your... have the 35 pound bow. You don't have the 35 pound bow? No. I think I didn't grab it. There it is. There it is. Okay, just find your flower again. Flower is right, right there. Yeah, this flower over here where I'm standing on. There we go. Okay, so he's going to hit me with a 35 pound bow and a wooden arrow, guys. So, it, will there be a difference in the poundage? Okay, because he got, he went down to 79 health. How low am I going to go? Okay, guys, so that brought me down to 62 health, so that's 38 damage with a wooden arrow. 38 damage with a wooden arrow. That is double the damage. Double the damage on me, okay? From a 20-pound to a 35-pound bow. So that's almost double the poundage and almost double the damage, okay? And now, because he's fully healed, I am going to hit him with my compound bow which i can only set to 80 right from the start but i'm gonna hit him with a wooden arrow as well so it was 21 and then 38 okay that's not double that's not double the damage guys that basically compares to the poundage okay if you guys go and work out the percentages then the 15 pounds extra is more or less the same as the extra damage, okay? If you take the the percentage difference from a 20 pound to a 35 pound, you will see that the percentage difference on the damage that we received was the same, okay? So this one is four times stronger, or the poundage is four times more than a 20 pound bow. So 21 times four is 84. So if it has to be exact, he's going to he's gonna have 80, 16 health left, guys. He's going to have 16 health left when I hit him with this arrow. You've got 100 health, eh? Um, one? Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Here we go. 43% health. 43% health. Okay. Yeah. I didn't hold the back bow for the bow back for long. Okay, hit me with hit me with your compound, but hold the bow back for at least two seconds. So I, okay. I, I did 57 damage to him, guys, with a wooden arrow. I'm going to let him hold the compound bow back for at least two seconds at max draw before he releases to see if that does more damage, okay? So hold, right. just hold we it. We have the yep, wooden yep. arrow is knocked. Okay, hold it back for two seconds. So draw back, hold for two seconds, and then release in my chest. One, two, releasing. That was 58 damage, guys. 58 damage. How much health did you have left? Uh, I forget. Okay, I think it was more, guys. I think it was more. Yeah, it was okay, more. so holding the bow back, the, holding the compound bow back does more damage. The way I figured this out is when I tested how people were destroying walls with the with the ballista bow and then i saw if you just pull the ballista bow back and release immediately you do about half the damage to a wall when you don't hold it back but when you hold it back for at least a second okay at max draw tension then it does a full point of damage to any wall okay that's how i figured that out so we can clearly see a major difference between the bows and between the poundages, from a 20 to a 35 pound, big difference. From a, a 35 pound to an 80 pound, still a big difference, okay? But 
as, as soon as we start wearing armor, this is not counting anymore. Okay, as soon as the guy wears armor, then a wood, you don't want to shoot anyone with a wooden arrow, guys. End. End of story. You want to shoot puppets? You don't want to shoot anyone, any player with a wooden arrow. Okay? It's not going to work out well for you. Because you can't kill him in the chest. Yeah, because if he has more than three constitution, you're going to have to hit him twice in the, in the chest with an 80 pound. Okay? And we're going to do one more test with a ballista. But just understand, you can't kill him. Even if you hit him in the legs, you can't kill him immediately. We are looking for killing power. Okay? So as soon as I'm at 100 health, I'm going to let... Um, Bit wonky, shoot me in the chest, again holding the bow back for two seconds. And then I'm going to shoot him in the chest, but I'm not going to hold my button in at all. I'm just going to, as soon as I'm on him, I'm going to release my, um, you know, release the release the ballista bow. So I'm just going to get a ballista bow quickly. And I can just um, spawn in one here for me quickly. I have one already. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So I'm going to take the ballista, and I'm j as soon as I'm drawn back, I'm going to release, guys. I'm not going to hold it for a second. You've got 100 health, eh, bit? I do. Unequip your bow so I'm not hitting anything else, okay? Take the arrow out of your chest so I don't eat that. Uh. Okay, sorry, sorry. You've got no arrow in your chest. Yeah, okay, fine. it's fine. Right. Three, mm -hmm. okay. two, one. 44% health. Okay, so that's 56, that. guys. Remember, 56 damage. And you, and you hit me in the neck. In the neck? Yeah. Mm, I think you would have been dead if I hit you in the neck, but okay, it's fine, it's fine. 56 damage. Yeah. Um, okay, we can, we, can, we can test that again. Let me just drop yeah. this thing. Okay, now hold it. Hold it for two seconds. Hit All me in right. the chest. One second, let me equip the bow. Switch out the arrow. Okay, here it goes. Ooh. No, you release. It, oh, you can't. It, you can't. Right. Guys, isn't that interesting? I'm going to see if I can hold the bow back. Okay, that's very, very interesting. He couldn't hold the bow back. Because the arrow just released, released itself as soon as he pulled the bow back. So his strength can't allow him to hold the bow back. But we're gonna see with advanced archery, can I hold my bow can I hold my ballistic bow back? Okay? Let's see this. I'm going to unequip this. Um, although I am hurting right now, so that's gonna have an effect on me. No, it doesn't really have an effect on me. Okay, can I hold my bow back, guys? That's the question. Have you got 100 health? Uh, not yet. I'm at 83. Hold on. Okay. Aha! <clears throat> uh -huh, guys! Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Advanced archery against five strength. Look how long I can hold my bow back, guys. You see that? Wow. Not much longer than him, but I win. I win. Mm -hmm. It's only there. It's, I only get weakened there. There you guys. I start weakening. He shoots immediately. As soon as he draws his bow back, he shoots. Yeah, I had no option. He just did it. Exactly. So, okay. although strength and, you know, starting with five strength or starting with advanced archery is more or less the same, advanced archery actually wins with being able to control a ballista bow. So he's got a, you've got 100 health now. Yes, I do. Okay, and the first time you you had forty four health left. Let's see now if I hold yep. it hold it back. Forty four health. Same. Okay, so yep. mm -hmm. holding it back like that, guys, doesn't make a doesn't make a major major difference. But here we go with the killing potential. So he's going to hit me now. You guys can write down the numbers. He's going to hit me now with a twenty pound bow, but. Oh. He's going to hit me with a with a broadhead carbon arrow. Okay? The best arrow right. that you can get in the game. And you can go buy it at the traders for $50, guys. $50. Please don't tell me that's expensive, okay? $50 per arrow. 
So, 20 pound bow versus no armor. Yep. But the best arrow in the game for a bow. I'm not talking about a crossbow, guys. For a bow. Okay, all set. 100% health. Yep. All right, here goes. <laughs> oh, I think that was a high. No, you missed me. Okay, try it again. Wait, 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 wait. Waiting. You hit me in the head and it did no damage. The arrow's on my screen. Oh. You hit me in the head, but it did no damage. Okay. Very interesting, guys. A ballistic, a carbon, a broadhead carbon arrow cannot kill a person with a helmet on. It does a heck of a lot of damage to the helmet, but you can't do any damage to a person with a 20 pound, guys. Remember, with a 20 pound, the more poundage you have, the more penetration you're going to get. Okay. But with a 20 pound bow, you don't aim for any armor. Okay, you're not going to be able to penetrate the armor. So now he's going to hit me in the chest. Here it goes. <laughs> okay, hit you in the head again. Yep. Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, I think that was the throat. Or the chest. Okay. Could have been either. Look, look, look where the arrow stuck in me. You're going to revive me. Look where the arrow stuck. Or just revive me quickly. I'll see where the damage was. I can hit you in the groin. Yep. In the stomach, guys. In the upper abdomen. He killed me with one shot. With a 20-pound bow. Okay? So what can we judge from that? What is more important? The bow or the arrow? If you guys can't answer that question, then we've got a problem. But I'm going to tell you in any case, the arrow is the most important thing when it comes to, you know, what you're using. So with a 20-pound bow, you can kill a person in the chest without armor on, okay? Now I want to do one leg test. As you guys know, I love hitting people in the leg. So let's see quickly. Can I kill him if I hit him in the leg? All right, I am at 100%. Uh, and I'm at 3%. Okay. So, I can definitely kill him because he's going to have to inject himself to survive and yeah. I can hit him again. <laughs> okay? Right, yeah. So, and plus, I, I can't walk, so... Yeah, so if you, hit, if you hit a guy in the leg, guys, just know that he's nearly dead. Doesn't matter what his constitution is. And if you hit him in the leg again, he's dead. Okay, whether you hit him in the arm or the leg, just make sure you don't hit him in the armor. Okay, because that's not going to help you. But leg shot, still, still extremely good. And I think if you hit him in the leg with a ballista bow, because of the extra poundage, you're going to kill him. And I'm, I'm willing to, for him to test that on me. Okay. So I'm going to give him a ballista bow. And then he's going to... There's the ballista bow. There's the arrow. I'm going to let him hit me in the leg with the ballista bow. And I'm sure I'm dead, guys. With three. With three constitution. Just remember, three constitution. So aim for my knee about. You don't have to crouch down, buddy. I just aim for okay. my knee and release. All right. Here goes. I'm ready. Oh. Am I, I'm horrible with a bow, so I'm okay. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. All right. Are you at 100 health? Uh, no, I'm at 90. Almost there. Almost there. Okay. Won't take long. Yeah, I'm horrible with bow. No, your five strength is not as strong as advanced archery. Mm -hmm. And even Bitwonky, guys. Bitwonky, what did you tell me when you created your character? What were you going to do to be better at a bow? I went with five strength. Exactly, guys. And that's what most people say. They say you have to go for five. Every time they see me struggling with a bow, they always tell me, you should have gone with five strength, buddy. But they don't, they don't understand that the archery skill has got the same effect on it. Okay. So are you at 100 health? Yes, I am. Okay, guys. I'm sure I'm going to kill him now. No. 9%. Uh, hit me in the upper thigh. 100-pound ballista bow. 
versus an 80 pound compound bow leaves you with more health. Okay, I sh uh, maybe I shot him at a different part of the leg, guys. Right. Maybe I shot him on a different part of the leg, okay? But still, he's crippled, next shot kills him, okay? Simple as that. Yeah. So I can now, see where the arrow is sticking out of me. It's uh, it's just a little bit above the knee. Mm. That's where the arrow is. Yeah. So, leg, yes. No armor, yes. But how do we kill a guy with armor on? We eat him in the leg. You have to eat him twice in the leg, first in the leg, then again in the leg or in the arm or something like that. If you hit him in the throat, I'm sure you're going to kill him. So you've got armor on a, um, uh, let me just check. Put arm, put, put this, put this bulletproof on. And then I'm going to hit you in the throat. This is difficult, okay. guys. I'm just giving you guys the option. Okay. This armor is equipped. Um, I'm almost at hundred percent. Give me just a second. Okay. And look at that. Look at how much space there is, guys, at his throat. Look at that space okay. at his throat. Okay, look up for uh, me, just to make it easier. There we go. Open up. Yep. Um, down. <laughs> okay, guys, like I said, the throat is much easier to hit if he's wearing a bulletproof. If he's wearing a tactical, it covers too much of the neck, so you're going to need to be a lot luckier. Okay, and now I'm just going to revive him quickly. And then um, inject with Phoenix Tears. I can't. Right? Hmm. I can't inject him with Phoenix Tears. Okay, you're going to have to respawn, buddy. We'll be back now, guys. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're close to the end. If you enjoyed this video and you found it informative, please do me a favor and click that like button. And like always, if you want to see and learn everything there is to see and learn about Scum, then click the subscribe button because as soon as 0 0.8 comes out, I'm going to overload you with info, streams, and videos. Okay? So, final test here. Uh, best compound bow with, with it being set. Advanced archery. What can the best arrow do against a stab proof? 23% health. Okay, guys. So if he's got a stab proof on, two shots are going to kill him. Okay, no matter where you hit him in the body area, two shots are going to kill him. Okay, here's a phoenix for you, buddy, if you can't find one. There's a phoenix no, I for could, you. I forgot to loot one. Okay. There mm -hmm. we go. Okay. So, very interesting. If you guys can't, just remember, a guy with a ghillie suit on, don't look at a guy with a ghillie suit and think he's not wearing any armor, okay? A ghillie suit covers even a tactical vest, okay? So don't be fooled that if you see a guy with a ghillie suit, he's not wearing any armor, okay? He could, most of them do wear tactical armor underneath a ghillie suit. But if you see a person with a stab proof and you can clearly see hey, it's not a bulletproof or tactical, you know that two shots is going to kill him. Now we're going to test the bulletproof because the stab proof clearly can't take a lot of the damage. And then we're going to test the tactical. And as we tested the M82 at the end of the sniping video, we are going to do one test with a Black Hawk with the best bolt. Okay? Because I just know there's going to be crossbow people um, commenting in my videos, okay, that the crossbow is king. And although it is king with the distance and the damage and the speed, it takes long, okay? But if you take a character with advanced rifles and five strength, you'll be much better off because the rifle skill influences your crossbow capabilities and your strength um, influences it well as well. It's the same. If you've got advanced rifles, you'll be able to pull back the pull back the crossbow faster and if you've got five strength you'll be able to pull back the crossbow faster as well but if you want to be a crossbow silent killer you have to start with five strength advanced rifles and then level up your strength because one day when you're at eight strength you'll probably be able to reload a crossbow like i reload bows okay and that will help you a lot so buddy um bulletproof now 
Bulletproof is on, and I am a 100%. Is that the bulletproof? Yes. Okay, looks the same, almost the same as stab proof, but okay. Just the female morals, guys, with new, you know, with how it looks when you put it on. Okay, three, two, one. Fifty percent. Okay, double the protection, guys. Double the protection. Inject yourself and lie down. Double the protection. He went from twenty-four health, roughly, to fifty health. So that's double the protection with the bulletproof. Now I'm seeing someone's going to want me to test something else as well. I'm sure that people are going to want to, me to test something else as well. So I'm going to spawn in the best bolt and then an interesting bolt, guys. Best bolt and an interesting bolt. All right. I have the tactical vest on now and I'm at 100%. Okay. So you guys see what I spawned in there? Okay, you guys see what I spawned in there. Okay, so now tactical vest. 61%. Okay, not double the protection, guys, but 20% extra protection with the tactical. Okay. Okay, so. This the this this the end of the video, guys. We're gonna do one. We're gonna do one. Black core crossbow. With the car, the best bolt at this range. And remember, the other thing that makes the crossbow cool is the sight. You put a sight on. So th th that's another thing about the crossbow, guys. If you struggle to aim with a bow or you play on a server like the meat grinder without a dot on your screen to help you, then a cross, you know, then starting with a character with five strength and advanced rifle is not a bad idea because you'll be able to pull back the crossbow much faster and you've got the sight to help you. And you can even put a... You can even put an ACOG on a Black Hawk, okay? So that you can kill the puppets at a very, very long distance. Because a Black Black Hawk fires reliably up until about 250 meters, okay? Which makes it very powerful. Okay, so he had put the bulletproof on because with the bulletproof, you had 50 health left. That's a good indicator. Okay, bulletproof is on and I am at 100%. Okay. Let me get the arrow out of your chest here. There we go. So, compound at a compound bow, 80 pounds versus a black hawk. And the black hawk hasn't got broad head, broad head tips, guys. That's what makes the penetration less. But let's see what the power does. 49% health. Okay, so it does exactly the same damage um, as the as the Compound bow, okay? But it definitely gives you more control and more distance, okay? And of course, it can't have the same penetration as the bow because the bow has the broadhead tip, which helps a lot with penetration. So although I didn't kill him there, or, or although the damage looked exactly the same, if I don't kill him in the leg, guys, I'll be very, very surprised, Okay. I'm just honest with you. If I can't kill him in the leg, I'll be extremely surprised. So we're just going to wait for him to heal fully. Hopefully, I can kill him now in the leg. And then I'll revive him. And then we're going to do something fun. I'm going to I'm gonna get the, the... Don't worry, guys. I'm going to get the arrow as well, okay? I'm going to get the fun arrow as well. Lots of you guys have mentioned this to me. I'm going to get the best fun arrow okay the best fun arrow so there we go we've got the best um fun bolt and then we've got the best fun arrow okay we'll keep it we, we'll keep it as a surprise for but wonky that he's not sure what's going to happen no i'm curious though okay i'm at 100 percent okay. um i still have the bulletproof on it's at 78 percent durability 
Okay. One shot in the leg. Let's go. Uh, 25%. Oh, my okay. word, guys. Okay, so just inject yourself, buddy. So I thought... I thought that the power of the Black Hawk would do more damage, guys. But unfortunately, at close range, the the compound just wins. And remember, if I've got five strength and advanced archery, I can set my compound to 110 pounds, which is 30 pounds more than what it is at the moment, okay? So I can definitely beat the Black Hawk at close range. But the Black Hawk beats me at long range because the black hawk, you know, the, the bolt travels a lot further um, than the bow. So, yeah, that teaches us everything we need to know. And then now I'm going to let him wear the tactical armor and give him a little surprise. Okay, tactical armor with a little surprise. Right, one second. Okay, and after you run, but I want you, after I hit you, I want you to run, eh? Okay. Towards you or just no, just just sideways, just just yeah, right. to the, to to your left. Okay. It's on hundred percent health with the tactical vest equipped. Good to go. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed all the information. How to kill a person with maximum armor. Look at me before you start running. Okay. Oh. Wait, wait, I have to make sure, I have to make sure this is the only bolt that I can load. Let me see. Okay. There's no other bolts in my vicinity. Okay. Three, two, one, let's go. I'm at 78% health. Run. <laughs> that's fun guys that's fun so he was at 78 percent health after i shot you eh yes <laughs> okay so the the bolt itself only did uh 22 damage but the bolt was connected to his leg where he had no protection and then the bolt exploded and killed him so that's how you kill a person with an arrow or a bolt Okay. Now, the fun thing is, since you guys know you can do that with a bolt, you can, you guys can do that with with anything. Okay. So here we go. Um, where's where's my where's my arrow? Where's my arrow? He's he's lying down now, guys. So yeah. I'm still at uh, only at forty percent health. Okay. Here we've got the carbon explosive arrow. Okay, two carbon explosive arrows. So, like I say, guys, if you want to learn and see everything there is to learn about and see about scum, just stick to this channel. Because that's what we love doing here. It's just educating ourselves on everything and having as much fun as possible. And I must say, shooting a guy in the leg with an explosive arrow where he thinks or laughs at you because he's still got 70 health left and he like pulls out his gun is like in okay buddy now it's my turn and then he you know then the arrow explodes although if i hit him in the leg can he counter it can he counter it but i mean guys who's going to think you're hitting him in the leg with a with a explosive arrow okay he's going to hear the beeping but the thing is, how much time does he have to drop the arrow on the ground and run away so that the explosion doesn't kill him? Okay. Right. Okay, but you're on 100 health. Okay. Uh, 100%, yeah. And I still have the tactical vest on. Okay. I'm going to hit you in the leg, and then you know I'm going to hit you in the leg, okay, beforehand. When I hit you in the leg, stand in the open that you can only see the arrow, okay, because there's nothing going to be in your vicinity. So stand here in front of me. No, 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 stand here. Oh, back, back, yeah. Back, yeah. Okay, so you've got nothing in your vicinity. I'm going to hit you in the leg. Right. Try and go okay. to your inventory screen and then drop the arrow on the ground and then run away. Okay. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, did it, guys. Did it even explode? <laughs> yes, it did explode. It did explode. <laughs> 
Um, maybe I killed him immediately. I'm not sure. Um, let me go revive him quickly, guys. Oh my word, that was fun. That was fun. Yeah, that, that's a good question. So he died when I hit him, guys, which is not an accurate representation. Lie down quickly, buddy. I'm going to try and hit you from further away. Okay. I'm going to try and hit you from further away. That was fun, guys. Wasn't that fun? I think that was very a lot of fun. Okay. So we're going to wait for him, and then we're going to hit him with the same arrow again. Uh, so we just want to take this out. I'm gonna hit him with this. Um, so yeah, distance is distance is gonna play a role here, guys. Distance is gonna play a role here, but we don't know how how big of a role. And, okay, let's see how much it takes to craft these these funny moments. To craft a. I'm sure it's going to be here in the explosions department. Okay, let's just see here. I'm at full health. Okay. Okay, so there's no explosive arrow option. There, there. Carbon. Yeah, guys, so you're going to have to be basic with demolition, I think. I think you're going to have to be basic with demolition. So the carbon explosive, explosive is, a, is a carbon arrow which you can buy plus gunpowder, plus a blast cap, plus a cutting tool, any basic cutting tool. And a blast cap, guys, is not that difficult to craft. But remember, we're talking about one arrow, so it will take some work to get 12 arrows, okay? But it is not that difficult at all. Uh, the, the one that looks like a little, um, like the, the bottle? Yeah, a very, very thin bottle. Yeah, uh, fifth row down, right-hand side, improvise mine. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm blind. Okay, one scrap metal, gunpowder, and a toolbox, guys. Not a lot of work at all. Okay, not a lot of work at all. <laughs> hey, baby! Tactical armor! Down, boy, down! Hope you guys enjoy the video. See you guys later. Bitwonky, thank you for your help as always. You're welcome. Cheers, guys.